Good morning. My name is Carlos Bravo, and I will be doing a sample lesson for my application. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good. Today, we are going to discuss an exciting lesson. Are you ready? Ready. Excited, huh? All right. We have this diagram. And what does this diagram represent? Anybody from the group? Yes, Vivian? Correct. The diagram represents symbols. I have here the actual picture of that schematic diagram. Do you recognize the components? Yes, Alice? Okay, what is this? Correct, battery. How about this one? Resistor, correct. And this red object, LED, correct. Our lesson for today has something to do with this diagram. Who would like to read the objective? Yes, Susan? Okay. So you should be able to solve the current flowing in a circuit using Ohm's law. Before that, let us define some terms that we are going to use during our discussion. So we have the voltage, the current, the resistance. What is voltage? Anybody from the group? Okay. Voltage is an electromotive force or potential difference expressed in volts. And the symbol is V. The current. It is the flow of electrons in a circuit expressed in amperes. And the symbol is I. And the resistance. What is the resistance? Anybody from the group? Yes, Edward? Mm -hmm. What's the other answer? Carlito? Okay, let's see which one of you has a correct answer. It's Carlito resistance. It is the measure of the position to current in a circuit expressed in ohms or a symbol of omega. Okay, let me do this first. Listen attentively and I will demonstrate how to solve the current flow in a circuit. So we have here the ohms law formula wheel. V over i r i r means i times r so this means voltage over current times resistance if the voltage is unknown just multiply the given current and the given resistance so that will be v or voltage equals i or current times r or resistance. If the resistance is unknown, just divide voltage over the current. So R equals voltage divided by the current. And our lesson for today is about the current flow. So if it is missing, all you have to do is divide the voltage by the resistance. So I or current is equal to the voltage divided by resistance. I have here an example. 
Find the flow of current in a circuit with a voltage of 12 volts and a resistance of 6 ohms. So the unknown is current. So I will be using this I is equal to V over R. So my solution would be current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Now let's do the substitution or plug in. So the voltage we have here 12 volts. So V will be 12 volts divided by the resistance which is 6 ohms. So here we have 6 ohms. So we have the current is equal to the voltage of 12 volts divided by the resistance of 6 ohms. 12 divided by 6 is equal to, yes, John? All right, 2. And what is the unit for the current? Okay, it is in amperes. Now let's do this together. We have the same formula wheel. And the problem is solve for the current. So we have the given. What is the given? Yes, Vivian? Correct. So we have the given, the voltage is 110 volts and the resistance is 11 ohms. And what is the unknown? The obvious, of course, is? Yes, Alessandra? Current. All right. So again, we're going to use this formula. Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Once again, Let's do the substitution or plug in. So current is equal to the voltage which has the amount of 110 volts. And how about the resistance? Correct, 11 ohms. Then it would be 110 over 11. And the answer is, Yes, Raul? Mm -hmm. Who has another answer? Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who has the correct answer? 10 amperes. Okay, Jeffrey, you got the correct answer. Very good. Keep it up. It should be 10 amperes. Now we have this time, it's your turn to solve the problem alone. Okay, I will give you two minutes to solve the problem. Solve the unknown. The given is V equals 10 volts, R equals 22 ohms. The time starts now. Remember, only two minutes. And then afterward, we will discuss the answer. Time's up. All right. So you check your own paper. And let's see who got the correct answer. So again, you have the formula. I is equal to V over R, or voltage divided by the resistance. And then, of course, we need to do the plug-in. So for the voltage, it's 110 volts. And for the resistance, is 22 ohms. And what is the answer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. You are correct. All right. Majority of you got the correct answer. Congratulations. It is 5 amperes. Okay, for your homework, you log into your Schoology and complete 
the problem. It's already posted in your Schoology. So we have here the questions. We have two questions. And then the other one is based on your problem above what happens to the flow of current when the resistance increase. So you have to analyze it. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. If you have the question, we have this exit slip. For your exit slip, just go to your Kahoot and answer the questions. How well did you understand the lesson? Just check one. And then I will check it and that's it. All right. So that ends our lesson for today. And see you tomorrow. Be safe, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye.